Samsung explains the uses of Galaxy Note 20's UWB feature in new video. The Galaxy Note 20 and the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra are Samsung's latest Galaxy Note series smartphones, and they both come with impressive features. However, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra has a few additional features compared to the Galaxy Note 20. It features a larger screen, better camera setup, lower latency S Pen, bigger battery, and the ultra-wideband technology. The first Android smartphone to feature UWB is the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The company had given us a short glance over UWB's uses during the Galaxy Unpack 2020 event, but in its new video, Samsung has explained the technology in detail and how it plans to use UWB in the future. Thanks to its close relationship with Google, the South Korean smartphone giant was able to become the first brand to use UWB in nearby share. Galaxy Note 20 Ultra's UWB can be used for sharing files, unlocking smart doors, mobile payments. The point-to-share aspect of the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra's nearby share feature first lists a compatible device that you're directly pointing to with a blue circle. This makes the whole process of using nearby share even easier. You won't need to scroll through a list of devices to find out the name of the device with which you wish to share files. Using Galaxy Note 20 Ultra's nearby share feature, you can share documents, files, images, links, tweets, videos, and much more. Samsung is also planning to bring the SmartThings Find feature for its devices in the future. This feature uses the ultra-wideband technology to identify the location of compatible devices near you. For example, you might be able to find your wireless earbuds or smartwatch using augmented reality effects. The company is also working on its digital key service that uses a smartphone's UWB to lock or unlock smart door locks. In the future, Samsung smartphones with UWB can also connect to cars, specific places in your home or office, IoT devices, and smart home products. The company is even planning to use UWB for mobile payments, probably via Samsung Pay. So what do you think about this new feature from Samsung? Let me know your thoughts in the comment and also please do consider subscribing my channel. Thanks for watching.